Alright, hello guys, and in this video I will be showing you how to make GFX uh, renders and normal GFX in Blender, so stay tuned. Okay, so once you're in Roblox, you will go to the Create tab, so create.roblox.com. After that, you will go into Creations and Create Experience. Okay, so once you be in your Roblox Studio, you'll just pick the classic base plate and wait for it to load in. Alright, so next to We'll go into your plugins and get load the character. Uh, the plugin will be in the description, so you can just get it from there, download it, and use it. So here you will put your username, let's say byt123, and you will say rsr6 because r5 it's a little bit more complicated. And now I'm just explaining it r6. So you will get r6, and you will close your loader plugin. Or if you want more, you can import more. After that, I prefer position zero point. 3.0 so you don't have to move it at all and once you done with this you can skip to the number i showed on the display but now i'm gonna tell you what to do if you want to do more stuff let's say you want a sword so basically you will go in the home page we'll get your toolbox and so let's say a pistol mesh right so yeah so basically you will get your gun or any item you want and you will right click it and then you will pick anything you want with it so let's say i want my avatar as well so you will make it like this and now you will just export your avatar with the item or just the avatar export selection and you will save it i recommend making your own folder let's say here and let's name it gfx123 because i have other folders named like gfx1 and that so let's name it like this you will go in your robux studio you will do right click export selection i will have to blur this part but you basically find your gfx123 now you name it let's say gfx uh, showcase and you're basically done in robux studio now you can close it you don't have to save it you just open your blender lightroom you will get your rigs so rigs will be in the description we'll go to the edit preferences and here you will find your rigs so i will let's find rigs object roblox start rigs so i already have it added but first you will go in the install and find your own rigs you will paste them and to make sure you can google for them so let's say i googled rigs they're right here make sure it's checked and once it's done you can close it so basically once you download them you let's say start uh, 3.0 rig as you can see the characters here then we go in the shading we click at our character we remove the text the current texture and we find our own we found it and you will pick the handle free that's your avatar handle once you're done it can be handle one but it varies on your avatar once you're done you will go in the file import uh, object object you find your folder again uh, gfx23 and now you will do split by group that means you can delete the other parts of it and the obj now you will just delete your hands uh, you can see them right here so you will delete your hands your legs your body and once you're done you can delete your head as well if you want the faces and once you're done you will and you wanna make the hairs uh, parted with the head you will just you will just group all of the stuff let's say i want my hair and my valkyrie in one so i will shift 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 and uh, then aim at the circle i want to do so if i'm doing head i will aim at this circle if i'm doing hand i will aim at this one or this one so we hold shift we click this and now we press setter p and we press this bone sometimes i do it more okay so we press the bone now i didn't want to do the ring so let me just do, uh, delete it and that's uh done so now let's go to the animating so basically here's your gun as well so if you want to animate it somehow you can do anything with it can rotate it and so on but if we want to use it it's, it was just for a showcase so we can delete this all right so now you click at your custom at this setting icon 
go here and a pause mode. From here, you can just pause your GFX so it looks good. I prefer animating even the legs if you want to show them or the body or the head. Don't make something like this, alright? You have to make the head positioning, the hand positioning, and so on. So let's say you're done with your GFX. You will just animate the different parts. Right now I'm just rushing it. So let's say this is like uh, good. You click at the camera. Now you will move by going in the view, navigate, navigate, navigation, and walk navigation. So now you can use v, now you can use V A S D to move around. Shift makes it faster, and pick your own position. And once you're done, you will go here, render, and render image. And your image starts to rendering, as you can see right here. You will just wait until it's done. Alright, so once your GFX uh, render is ready, you will go in the image and here you can copy, save, save us, save us copy. I, I copy it every time because it's not done yet, but I prefer you save it as. So when you finished it, now you will go to your editing software. I use Pixlr, so you will just paste it there and now you will find your background. So let's say you want to pair it with purple and white, so you will go in golden. In this server, I will leave a link in the description for it. And now here you have your black GFX assets, brown assets, white assets. So let's say you want purple assets. So here are backgrounds that you can just copy and get. Or you can go on Pinterest. Purple and white GFX. And it will find your, your purple and white backgrounds. Paste it in our editing software and build it and look for the assets. So let's say uh, I must scroll down and I'm looking for like uh, icon on YouTube so we can copy this one and this purple magic effect. We will just copy it and make, get it into our GFX. I really rush this GFX, trust me, I'm better with the GFX. Let me show you what I do. Yeah, so here's, my, here's all of my work I do. So this was just a showcase. Uh, it takes longer normally finding backgrounds and that. In the next video, I will show you how to make your ba your own backgrounds with uh, brushes and so on. And that's all.